nothing but your Allah. Don't hope that this investment will mature. If it matures, it's good. The children will return and secure and become my... I would sit back and I would relax. You know, one person, he didn't have children. So one day he said to me, Sheikh, you know, if I had children, I'm now 60, I doubt I would have been working. I said, uncle, those that are 60 and have children are working harder than you. They are working harder. Read the demographics of today's modern society. I read an article that if you want to have a workshop on raising children, it will be in your better interest to target grandparents than biological parents because the demographics of modern day society is grandparents are raising their grandchildren and not the parents. So who said when you're a grandfather, you'll relax? The grandparents have that level of respect and that's my generation, that's my blood, that's my honor. If their parents want to work, let them work broken home, but I'll hold my blood and I'll take the child to school and nurse him and nurture him, whatever it is, it's my blood. They have that shred of modesty and respect in them. So don't fear anything but the consequences of your wrong. You know your wrong and I know my wrong. I can hide from people. And I can camouflage from society, but Allah is watching. Wala yarju illa rabbahu. And only hope in your Lord. Number three, wala yastahi man la ya'lam an yata'allam. And the one who doesn't know must not feel shy. Today is his day, he must start learning. Today is his day. I was, I mentioned this year also, I met a man in London at the age of 60, started learning Quran. And he memorized 15 Jews of the Quran. وَلَا يَسْتَحْيِ مَنْ لَا يَعْلَمْ أَنْ يَتَعَلَّمْ The one who doesn't know must not feel shy. He must start learning. The fourth thing. وَلَا يَسْتَحْيِ مَنْ لَا يَعْلَمْ إِذَا سُئِلَ عَمَّا لَا يَعْلَمْ أَنْ يَقُولَ لَا أَعْلَمْ And the one who doesn't know, when he's asked of something which he knows not, then he must be bold and honest and say, I don't know. He mustn't feel shy and lie and distort which will be one of the qualities of the deviant scholars before Qiyamah, that they will exploit their podium and they will advocate rulings contrary to the divine teachings. So the one who doesn't know must not feel shy to learn. And the one who doesn't know when he's asked, he must be bold and say, I don't know. I mean, what profound words. If we take this to heart. And the last advice that Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu said, وَإِنَّ الصَّبْرَ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ بِمَنْزِلَةِ الرَّأْسِ مِنَ الْجَسَدِ وَإِنَّ الصَّبْرَ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ Patience and perseverance is pretty much like the head in the human body. There is no human without a head. There is no Islam without sabr. On those notes, I conclude asking the Almighty Allah to instill, infuse and imbibe in me all that has been said and that we can go out and make that profound impact which is much needed. I thank and appreciate the brothers and the sisters that have showed up in the numbers despite the heat and whatever difficulty you had to put up with.